All ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last game on the card of round 20. We've seen some interesting games today. It's been pretty much a scrappy affair all night. Both teams are sort of winding down before the season closes, preparing themselves for the Air Force Cup. Judith Dale and Steve Nicola Kuda, Steve Nicola Edis, and uh, Kurt Marotta, right the rock and roll star. A couple of players on the bench and we'll call them as they come in. If C. Baldwin, their manager, Matty Obeid, oh, and a shot there across, got a decent unit to save it. Their manager, Matty Obeid, which was blasted to the ground. Nicola Curtis, Nicola Edis, rather. Darwin, down the line, Marotta, no one home. And so this game becomes a little bit more of a passing game than the last couple of games we watched. Marotta, Mark Savage, Tony Savage, Jason Young, another save. Al Garabi, Zed Warney, Zed Warney, the zip star. All the way back to Ben Bodo. Bodo, oh, he runs out of room. Al Garabi, and Ben Bodo, uncharacteristic mistake. Zed Warney, the zip star. Oh, is that Warney, that big strike, and just a little wide. It was perfect placement, rather, but uh, Jason Young with a great save. Bodo, down the line. Sarich finds brother Mark. Darwin. Is that one of the zip stays? He's going to cause all sorts of trouble. Gets a free kick for his trouble as Darwin. Darwin's saying he's bloody quick. Back to Tony, uh, to Mark Savage. Oh, and uh, Jason Young had to make sure of it. Two bites of the cherry. Darwin cuts it back, cuts it in. Algarabi goes to the toe poke. Oh, no, Algarabi with a massive toe poke into that top corner. And Elsterwick, the Royals. Hit the front, one ill. 13 minutes remaining on that clock, and Bowen have been stunned. Bono, no one on Bono. Bono kicking it the wrong way. I'm not sure what happened there. Darwin. Savage, Darwin. Finds Dunich. Oh! And the young, young puller, Dunich. It's Durkic. Paula Durkic finds his team 2 0 up now. And the FC Baldwin, after doing the job over the, the potential champions or to be champions, Prescaval find themselves last in the bottom team. Cross goal. Frater and Mark Sarich. Still with the ball. Marotta, Mark Sarich still there. Durkic. Durkic. Sturkic on the ball. Sturkic back to Nicolaitis. Nicolaitis over the top. Marotta. He won't keep it in or will he? He does. Domenico. Here he is, the young lad. Ben Bono. The young lad, Ben Bono. Hit him, Ben Bono. Almost. He's averaging more than a goal a game. He's kicked in every fixture except for round one. And I believe in round 11 or 12. Maybe there's one or two other ones too, but he's kicked plenty of goals from the fixed position as Baldwin find themselves only one goal behind now. 2-1, Ben Bodo. Through the middle. Darwin. Darwin getting man in by Ben Bodo. A free kick just outside the D. Ben Bodo gets a big stir talking to by our official Evan Rabotis. Nicolaidis, he can score! Nicolaidis hits the crossbar. Bodo will bag it, but it's just wide and we'll go into half time. 2 1 up to 
else than we... Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after a quick word from our partners. Back in the second half, Elston Wick, the Royals. I won't even uh, go there what their other nickname is because we might get banned, Jimmy. They're up 2-1. Over the top, the ball goes out. Durkic. Batting Gatitas over the top, finds El Garabi. In the centre, Durkic tries to go alone, runs out of room. Photo. Sarage stays in. Bodo will have to turn it around. Sad warning. Tony Sarage. Sad warning to the Topo. Sad warning runs into a brick wall in Nicola Hedis. Jason Young gives it away. Young, Zed warning. Oh! And Robert Zed warning with his probably his most gentle shot of the night. Draw the wound burner right under Jason Yule. Jason Yule expected a big thunder shot. It's two all the score now. Tony Sarich over the top. The Ben Bale was a uh, wasted ball. Sad warning, he'll punish him. Sad warning. Zad Wardy with a nice little flick and passed him, put it off the left foot and crawled it right under Jason York. It was a lovely piece of play by the zippy one. Now they find themselves with a flick of a switch, 3 2 up. Now, so we can't hold on to this side uh, momentum. Saric behind the ball. Saric to Bodo, Beto eats him. But I couldn't keep it down. Agarabi to the centre. Tony Saric. Oh! A big Tony Saric bangs it right through. And a big goal there. A lovely shot past Jason Young. 4 2. It's a flick of a switch. And the Zed Wooney and uh, Saric show has begun. the week. Perhaps uh, not realising how important it was to get in front and trying to stay there. Darwin, Durkic, tries to play on. Saric gets rid of it. He'll try to play Marotta on. Nicolaitis will shoot. Nicolaitis looking for it. Marotta. Fernando Saric comes out just in the right nick of time. Morata through the centre, Bodo, good save, interception. Bodo, he's going alone. Bodo hits him with the right as well. Right across, goal, almost an own goal. Ball stays in, Jason Newell gets tangled up. Darwin, Darwin with a shot, Brando saves that. around the corner and uh, Saric tough at it blocks it through the middle oh Darwin Darwin Unit Darwin gets one back at 4-3 and now the week the Royals are back in the hunt with 11 minutes 33 remaining as Baldwin are going to go chasing for another goal to get that buffer 
or will Alstonwick get another and get the, the scores back on level pegging too? All the way to the back. Oh, Sarich lets it go. Two on one, two on two. Sarich does well. But right up. Oh, and Frano still saved it. Looked a bit easy. Free kick as Darwin. Puts the leg out. Darwin saying we didn't touch him. Tony Sarich lining one up. Tony Sarich gives the brother Mark through the centre. Domenico. Oh, Domenico! Domenico Marafiotti gets his first goal of the Premiership. It was an important goal for Bowen to get away from Elson because Elson Wick were coming. 5-3 the score. Marotta, Marotta with a big shot over the top, lays it. Down the line, looking for Tony Savage. Tony will cut it, Domenico, will he not? He would, but he couldn't. Oh, and a great header in the end. As the gates have opened up now. The gates have opened up and a great goal with a little header nudge over the top. Jason Young, Jason Young's done well. And uh, Mark Savage gets a goal. Sarich, all the way back post, the brother, brother Tony, good battle hit up, but that one goes over the top. Long ball, Tony Sarich will cut it out, he does normally. Darwin's done well, all the way, Darwin, two challenges. Mark Sarich, Mark Sarich, oh sorry, it's Tony Sarich. All the way back post, Mark Sarich. It's Tony Sarich bringing the ball up to Mark Sarich. Savage, Darwin, over the top looking for, for Marotta, Darwin, all the way to the back post, Marotta, back to Darwin, and a good goal there by Aston Week, just a creep back, 30 seconds remaining, they need two goals, almost an impossible task, it has happened before, but I don't think it's going to happen again. 28 seconds. It might happen another game, but I'm not sure about this one. I need one right now. No one home schoolers. Can he create some magic schoolers? Schoolers are shot and they get a corner out of it. 14 seconds remaining. Schoolers right across. Obedi, doesn't pro no problem with Obedi, Domenico. One second away, Domenico with a shot. Oh! And a big strike there by Domenico to finish off the game 7-4. And Baldwin go their merry way with two games remaining in the Premiership. Elsterwick, their two last games, they've got to ensure a win to get off that dreaded bottom. The stray relegation spot. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. This is Futsalos. You can always join us on futsalos.com.au. Facebook, Twitter, we're there, we're everywhere. Futsalos, live it, love it, we play it, we do everything. Jimmy and your good night. I'm here now with the co-manager of the Ball and Futsal Club, Nikos Egnatidis. Welcome aboard again. You've been taken on uh, by ball and after tonight's game, not a bad effort by the boys. You must have been pleased. Oh, look, it was a great uh, effort by the boys. They grinded it out. Elston Week uh, performed really well. But it's great to be on board with the ball and boys. I'd like to thank Matty for asking me to come and help along. You guys, you're formerly of uh, CF Brunswick. You had one, one wonderful season where you took the boys all the way to third and really cha challenged Vic Vipers and Pascaval. And unfortunately now, you're a ball and it's a great pickup, and I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job with this ball and club. Well, look, basically, as you can see, the ladder where Baldwin is and how they performed this season and last season, great bunch of blokes, very tough, very tight knit. Uh, just like to thank Brunswick as well for the time I had there. Enjoyed my time and it's time to move on. 
You guys said David Alston, we got off to a quick start, 2-0. What, what was going through your mind at that time? Well, basically, it was how are we going to play against them? Because Alston was a pretty tightly team. Young Johnny's got them really well drilled back there. And they're not an easy beats as well. They're very un... They could have got a point tonight if we weren't careful. Obviously, tonight again, we say ball and we're missing players. How good is this team if they get their full squad in, you guys? Oh, look, Ballman is a very well-drilled team. They are a very strong team. A couple of boys were missing, but they've been together for a very long time, and basically, I reckon they can go a long way. They they beat Pasco Vale last week. They've beaten the Vipers, so they can beat anybody in this league at the best. You guys, are you going to bring any new players into the team? Because I think it needs a little bit of depth. There's not much depth there. Look, it's still early. I'll have a chat to Matty of my first game at the how the boys played. Sit down with Matty and we'll see how we go. There was a great new inclusion today, which well, I can't remember the, the name off the top of my head. Yeah, young Dom. Yep. Are we going to see more, more of Dom? Well, I hope so, because he showed, as you all saw tonight, he showed he's got a lot of potential. He scored a couple of cracking goals and he's another one we can bring into the squad. You guys, it's good to see you back as a, as a co-manager, because the V-League needs you and managers like you are very hard to come by, you guys. And welcome back again from Futsal Ice, mate. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be back. And as I said, thank you to Brunswick for my three seasons there. And now moving on. Give us a blink now, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, boys.